Bravo Hood. Vlogmas Day 24. Happy Christmas Eve. Um, I'm going to be making my sorrel and I'm also going to be making ginger. I was going to also make me some, um, some Marby, but the prices for that little pack of Marby, I was like, no. I know inflation went up, but it didn't went up that high, so I didn't buy the Marby. So I'm just going to be doing the sorrel and the ginger for now. I'm going to be boiling it with some star anise and some um, and some clove and a little piece of ginger. Some people don't put ginger in theirs, but the way how I grew up watching my dad make um, sorry, he always put a little bit of ginger, not much. Just a little, a little tinty, just to give it a little extra flavor. So I'm gonna put the ginger in here and boil some of the sorrel, not all of this. And I'm gonna be inserting a video of what the sorrel look like when it's not dried. Um, I prefer the, the ones that is not dried, but again, the prices for the dried, for the ones that are not dried was outrageous. So I decided to just stick with the dried ones because it still does the same job. So in the pot, I have like maybe like two cups of water, no, like four cups of water because I'm not making a lot. I'm just doing this so for vlogmas. So I'm not making a lot of it. Um, and also for the ginger, I'm going to do the same as well. And I'm not measuring the sorrel, I'm just going to eyeball it. But I still think that's what they have for the pack. That's what the dry pack. And we're just going to let that boil and simmer. It's like for you, right? I'm going to put a little bit of the star anise, not a lot, just one in there. Wait the boil. Actually, I'm going to put two. Put four pieces of clothes for now. When I actually put sweeten it, I'm gonna drop a couple more pieces of clove in it. Here's our little decorated area. When I was talking about um you don't actually have to have a tree, this is what I'm talking about. This is what my my roommates mom, this is what my roommates does every Christmas. She sets this up and it's, it just looks so pretty every time. So pretty. We still have stuff in the corner because she's not finished. But yeah. Ain't that cute? It just looks so nice. This is the table. Ready already. It's already set for Christmas. <laughs> for those of you who have um, diabetes and high blood pressure, you know sugar makes your high blood pressure worse. So you don't actually need to um, to sweeten the sorrel. You can just boil it and drink it. And it's very good on its own for high blood pressure and for diabetes. Take a look at Mr. Sienta Brown's Fix Your Life channel. That's my cousin, and I will put his little um, thing on the screen so you guys can see him and follow him. He does all the healthy, the healthy drinks and tips and stuff like that. So I'm putting a little piece of this ginger, not even this so bit. I'm putting a little bit of this. The rest of the ginger I'm gonna be using for um, to make the ginger beer. Here's my ginger. Today, Friday, I boiled it. Um, 
and I'm gonna sweeten it tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Mm. Gonna boil this for two minutes, and then I'm gonna leave that overnight as well. And here is my ginger finished boiling. I'm gonna leave it here overnight to soak up all this goodness and then you're gonna sweeten it this is the sorrel if I had done it with the fresh sorrel it would have been like a more brighter red but because the leaves are dried it's dark really dark red oh why did I do that little dark <laughs> But anyways, yeah. Here I am, I just got home. And the wind out there is very, very disrespectful. It's freezing. So I'm about to, um, I did the, the ginger already. And this is how much of the ginger. And that white stuff is like the starch from the ginger that they are seeing. Um, normally, you would um, sweeten it with, um, with white sugar, but I rather the brown sugar. The brown sugar is more healthy than white sugar, so yeah, I use the brown. And I got this much. This I tasted it already. It's not too too hot, which is good. Um, and I got some in the in a water bottle. And the, the I put the the paper on the cover to keep it from um from rusting because. It's of the mason jar. But um now I'm about to strain out the the sorrel and I'm putting it in this bottle because I couldn't find another bottle. Maybe I will brave going back outside to find another bottle. If I do, then you will see it in a different bottle. But for now I'm putting it in this one. And I forgot to mention that I have had already So I got that much, and I can add water to um, to the bottle to make it less concentrated. And I think I'm gonna do that, but um, I'm not gonna add water. I'm gonna add um, um, sparkling apple cider, because I love to put that inside of my sorrel, and it tastes. That's not a traditional way. The traditional is just to get the sorrel, and that's it. You drop some clove inside of it, and that's it. But me, I like to be extra and do my own thing and experiment. So lately, when I make sorrel, I've been dropping like um, the sparkling apple cider inside of it, and it is it, it tastes good. It adds the sweetener too. So, it, but I don't want to add um, actual sugar. I just add. The bottle of apple sparkling apple cider and it sweetens it so that's my trick of doing whatever i just love to experiment and do my own thing um with the sweetened sorrel if you leave it for a couple of days the longer it stays in 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 the bottle it's the stronger it's gonna get and it's gonna almost taste like alcohol so yeah that's with sorrel because of the sugar that's in it. The longer it stays, it gets stronger and it starts to taste. Give it that alcoholic taste as well. But people, some people still put rum in theirs. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I will see you for our final Vlogmas, I believe. Um, no, maybe we have two more videos. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and to subscribe.